Good morning. Welcome to another video on the Gamified Intelligent Cyber Aptitude and Skills Training course. This video is dedicated to showing you how to register to OpenLearn and to enroll to the GCAST course. Uh, I also would like to provide you with some information on gaining a di the digital badge by successfully completing this course uh, and how to fulfill those various conditional criteria for you to be able to gain that digital badge. In addition, uh, I plan to share some tips and tricks to plan your study during this course. Those of you who have pre-registered with Stay Nimble should have received uh, some career coaching, uh, additional information about GCAST, most importantly, a recent link that has been shared with you that should give you access to the course. Uh, those of you who haven't pre-registered with Stay Nimble yet, I, uh, I would advise you to do so using the link that's provided in the description box below. So if you click that link, it should take you to the high level description of the GCAST course, the G Gamified Intelligent Cyber Aptitude and Skills Training course, which I will refer as the GCAST course hereafter. So prior to getting on with the course, it's important you register and create your, yourself an account on the OpenLearn. You can do that by clicking the Create Account button and using your existing email address. Use an email address that you currently use. If you already have an account with OpenLearn, please use that account uh, for accessing the course. So once you register to the OpenLearn, you should have high level description uh, of the course, but you wouldn't have uh, the complete uh, access to the course yet until you enroll to the course. So please do enroll to the course by clicking that button that says enroll now on the, on the right of the page. So once you click that button, you should now be enrolled to the GCAST course. And if you click that view your profile button, GCAST should be part of your profile. Uh, upon completing this course, you're free to learn, uh, choose and complete any other course that's made available freely for you on the Open Learn. So my advice uh, for the, at the start of your uh, course is for you to read the high level description of the course, understand the, the high level co course content as you can see, uh, fundamental concepts of uh, cybersecurity are being uh, uh, taught across the eight weeks of content in this course. I would highly recommend you to familiarize uh, yourself uh, with, the, with the content that's provided in the introduction and the guidance uh, section of the course right at the beginning. So in fact, the, the uh, whole purpose of creating this video is for you to, uh, for me to inform you that reading the introduction and guidance uh, section in this course right at the start is highly recommended. It gives you a broad idea about what's, what lays ahead, what you're getting yourself into, as well as how to navigate and move around the course. But most important part of that guidance and introduction section is how do you gain the digital badge? Because it is important for you to gain the digital badge in order for you to avail the other offerings of this project, such as the free Cisco training, and additional career coaching, etc. So there are two criteria for gaining a digital badge. One, uh, for you to read each week's car content of the course, and two, to score more than 50% uh, in the two badged quizzes at the end of week four and at the end of week eight. It is important you score 50% or above in the attempt you make. While you do have multiple attempts, that is, if you're not successful in getting 50% in your first attempt, you do have uh, other attempts after 24 hours, of course. Uh, but it's important you gain that 50% score in the attempt you make. Okay, you can read additional information as to how to get the badge on the course page. And I would highly recommend you do that. And of course, uh, you could plan your, uh, looking at the high level description of the course, you could plan your study as well at the start. That's a good idea uh, based on your personal circumstance. So as you can see, the week one content is on threat landscape and uh, read the section about the course for you to understand how the course is laid out for you. Each week, the, the lesson begins with a game and week one game is on five pillars of security, which introduces you to about five different uh, concepts of cybersecurity, which is uh, uh, confidentiality, integrity, availability, uh, in, uh, auth authentication, and non-repudiation. So if you click that link, uh, 
I would uh, recommend you to use headphones and desktops for the best gaming experience. If you click that link and open it in a separate page or a separate window, you then uh, begin to start the, start to play the game. At the end of the game, you would be recommended a learning pathway. So the game itself uh, basically throws you throws at you a various sequ everyday uh, sequences and occurrences and would give you an opportunity to make some choices. My advice is as, uh, to, for you to make those choices that comes most naturally to you, most intuitively to you, so the game can assess your current knowledge on the various topics that's being uh, taught each week. So clicking on that button takes you to uh, the game. Uh, and uh, as I mentioned earlier, please use a desktop or a laptop and use headphone for the best gaming experience. Each game, uh, uh, of course, play it in full screen for best experience. Each game starts with an introduction to what the game is all about and also provides you with uh, um, various accessibility features. Please go through all of this carefully while you play the game and also provides you with the information box or the information on the concept on which the game is built. And these concepts are basically concept from that week's content. So as I said, first week's content is about five pillars of security. You do have information on the what are those five pillars and how do they impact uh, security. So as part of the game, uh, you would, as I said earlier, would be uh, shown a series of everyday occurrences and scenes and would be asked to make certain choices. And uh, you should make a choice that may, comes most naturally to you uh, in order for the game to assess your current knowledge and offer you a recommended learning pathway. Uh, in this case, the learning pathway is amber. So you could go ahead with your learning by choosing those sections that are recommended for your learning pathway. So in this case, section one does have an amber and is, uh, is a section part of the amber learning pathway. So you should complete section one. And if your recommended pathway was green, you would uh, skip section one and jump straight to section 1.1 1 .1, uh, to follow your recommended learning pathway. The learning pathways are only recommendations. They are not mandatory. You can choose not to follow them and complete every single section uh, in the lesson, uh, every single section of the course. Each week's lesson ends with an end of week quiz and I highly recommend you attempt and complete those quiz and use that, uh, use that as an opportunity to reflect on the learning of each week's content. Uh, there's also a number of quick polls that I would recommend you to uh, answer as part of the uh, week's content and proceed with the, the rest of the learning. So things that you I would like you to remember as part of this uh, video is of course for you to pre-register with Stay Nimble if you haven't already done so. Uh, use your existing email address to register and enroll uh, to the GCAS course. Press that enroll now button after you've created an account on OpenLearn and registered uh, to OpenLearn. Make sure you click that enroll now button to enroll to the GCAS course. And then Make sure you read the relevant, uh, uh, important sections of the introduction and guidance uh, section of the course before you get started, before you dive in into the actual learning. Although I have referred to this course ha as having 24 hours of study spread across eight weeks, I'm happy for you to plan your study, pace your study at, the, at a speed and um, uh, rate that's comfortable for you, that matches your personal circumstance. So you may choose to complete the entire course uh, over a week or over four weeks or even over a weekend if you can put in that kind of time. So it's, it's, uh, you could, it's, it's a completely self-study, self-directed uh, material. There are not there are not going to be any tutors or tutorials uh, facilitating your study. Everything that you need for the course and for the digital badge is available online on that uh, course page. Having said that, I do plan to share multiple videos as we go along to help you with the course, uh, to keep you informed about the course. So to please do look, look up the YouTube channel, subscribe to this channel uh, to keep yourself uh, sort of informed about the course. As I've already mentioned in the learning journey video, if you haven't viewed that video, please do go and view that video. Learning journey video in clearly informs you that for you to be able to avail the free Cisco training, you should complete this course prior to the 28th of February and have 
uh, acquired that digital badge, which is uh, an indication of completion of the course successfully. Another important uh, takeaway from this video is for you to complete the pre-survey. I have included the pre-survey link in the description box below. Please do complete the survey. You will find the link to the survey on the course page as well. You could use the course page link as well. The pre-survey pre is an important data for us, the course designers, to understand if, we, if the GCAST course, if the course that we have designed uh, is impacting you and your learning exactly like the way we intended it to. Your uh, feedback and your inputs are highly valuable and will help us improve the course uh, in the future. So please do complete the pre-survey. And last but not the least, I would like you to take away that this study is a completely self-directed self-study and you can complete this course at your own pace. But only if you want to avail this free Cisco training available as part of the project, you are expected to complete the course and gain the digital badge by completing the week four and the week eight quiz successfully by scoring more than 50% uh, in those two badged quizzes prior to the end of 28th February. And there will be no tutors or tutorials uh, facilitating you uh, through this course. However, do look up this channel for additional videos on, uh, on how to navigate the course and how to successfully complete this course. Uh, I do plan to post a few videos on the topic on various aspects of the course uh, as we go along. The next video is going to be uh, additional information on the Cisco training that's available for those who successfully complete this course prior to the 28th of February 2021. Great. Uh, I wish you uh, a wonderful experience learning the content that we've put together as part of GCAST. Dive straight into the course. Please do uh, register and enroll for your, for your complete access to the course. Hope you enjoy the course that we've put together. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.